Good morning, my angels. Welcome back to Teacher Zala's class. And it is Thursday today. Yes, so boys and girls, we are going to start with our morning routine by reading our Bible story, doing the weather chart, our days of the week, our months of the year, and our alphabet, as well as our counting and our shape and color of the week. So let's start with our Bible story. The story of Noah. Once they lived a man named Noah. He was a God-loving person and God too loved Noah. But unfortunately, this was also the time when a man was led astray by Satan and committed many sins. God loved his children and their action made him very sad. God needed to bring back the balance, so he told Noah, Go, Noah, gather all the wood you can and build a huge ark. Build many rooms in the ark and put a coat of tar on it. Once the ark was ready, God said to Noah, Noah, take your family to the ark as I don't want you to die with the corrupt. Also, take a pair of each living being and animal so that life can begin again. Now, when all was ready according to God's command, it began to rain. It rained and rained without a break for 40 days and 40 nights. The great flood washed away all the sin from the earth. All that was left was Noah and his ark to restart a pure life on earth. So boys and girls, remember the story of Noah and the ark. God told Noah that he must take his family and a pair of each living animal on the ark to make sure that when all the rain and the floods have stopped, then they can create new life on the earth. So our lesson from this Bible story, boys and girls, is God can give and God only God can give and only God can take it all away again. Okay, so boys and girls, now that we have done our Bible story, we are going to do our weather chart. Okay, so get your weather chart ready and please, boys and girls, go through. We start with sunshine, rain, cloudy, partly cloudy, snowfall and Thunderstorms, yes, boys and girls. Okay, our weather for today, boys and girls, is sunshine, yes. But remember, boys and girls, with our seasons that is changing to winter, it can at any time be cloudy, rain, partly cloudy, or thunderstorms. Okay, so please take your peg and your arrow, boys and girls, and put it on sunshine well done okay put your weather chart aside boys and girls and please get your days of the week ready okay boys and girls our days of the week let's quickly go them through monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday yes Boys and girls, okay, let's quickly see what day is it today, boys and girls. Remember I said at the beginning of the video and the class that it is Thursday. Well done. Okie dokie, boys and girls. Now that we have done our days of the week, let's do our months of the year. Remember there is 12 months of a year. Okay, there's 12 months in one year. Let's name them. January. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and 
Yes, same bow. Well done, boys and girls. Okay, so boys and girls, let's quickly do our counting. Yes, so get your counting chart ready, boys and girls, and let's start. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Okay, boys and girls, let's count from 10 to 1 backwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Okay, boys and girls, after you have done your counting from 1 to 10 and from 10 to 1 backwards again, please count until number 50. Okay, well done, boys and girls. Okay, now that we have done our counting, boys and girls, let's go to our alphabet. So, get your alphabet page ready, boys and girls, and let's start with our alphabet. A, B, K, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, Mm. O, P, Q, R, S, T, E, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, well done boys and girls. Remember, the reason why we do our alphabet like that boys and girls is because we need to learn the sound of the letter but not only the alphabet song, that is A, B, C. Because we do not hear A, B, C when we say a word. We hear a certain sound. Okay, so let's quickly do our shape and color of the week. So boys and girls, our shape is a triangle, yes. And our color of the week is red. Well done, boys and girls. I am so proud of you. Okay, boys and girls, now that we have done our morning discussion, we are going to go and do our theme discussion. Okay, so boys and girls, our theme discussion for today is, is what do we need to do on a cold day to keep ourselves warm? Okay, boys and girls, if it's cold outside, do we wear shorts? No. Do we wear t-shirts? No. Do we go outside and play without any shoes on? Not at all, boys and girls, because that would be silly, because otherwise we are going to get sick. Okay, so if we talk about clothing, boys and girls, we need to, walk, we need to wear warm clothing. So as you remember, boys and girls, on Monday, I have showed you those images, and we went through them all. So let's go through them again. On a cold day, boys and girls, we need to wear long trousers, okay, pants if you will. So please, boys and girls, make sure that you wear warm trousers, long trousers on a cold day to keep your legs warm. Okay, so, and our next picture, boys and girls, is a nice warm jersey or shirt or jacket. So please, boys and girls, make sure that you have a nice warm jersey on or a nice warm shirt. And if you have a scarf, boys and girls, please put your scarf around your neck. Do not play with it because otherwise your chest is going to get coldness on it. And you're going to start coughing and sneezing and have a flu. Okay. And boys and girls, what do we wear on our, sh on our feet? Do we wear sandals? We go without feet, bare feet. No, not at all. We wear some closed shoes, boys and girls. Please make sure to wear some closed shoes if it is cold. And make sure that you have some socks on as well so that the coldness cannot come through the shoe and make your feet and your toes cold. Okay. And what next, boys and girls? We need to wear some gloves and a hat. Yes, boys and girls, 
The reason why we wear gloves and the hats and clothes, shoes, is because heat come in to your feet, they get absorbed by your feet, and the heat goes out by your head. If you did not know this, boys and girls, it is true. If you wear warm socks and warm shoes, you will not get easily cold. But with that, we need to wear a nice warm hat so that the heat from our bodies do not escape. Okay. And what do we eat on cold days, boys and girls? Do we eat sweets? No. Do we eat ice cream? No. Mommy usually makes some soup or some nice warm hot chocolate and then we snuggle under a nice and fuzzy blanket to keep our bodies warm. Please, boys and girls, do not go play outside when it is cold because otherwise you are going to get sick. Okay, boys and girls, now that we are done with our morning routine and our theme discussion for today, we are going to move on to our worksheet. As you can see, it is two A5 pages. The pages numbers are 16 and page 17. Please make sure that it is the correct worksheets, boys and girls. And remember to write your name on the top. So, boys and girls, the same with the letter F we have done on Tuesday. We are going to do today the letter G. Okay or the letter G. So, boys and girls, as you can see, on top is the word grapes. There's a nice picture of grapes and the G letter. All right. So, boys and girls, once again, you're going to color in your grapes and we are going to do with a nice color pencil or a gray pencil in the middle of the letter G to practice our big, our capital G and our small letter G. All right, so let's move on to page 17. So, boys and girls, again, write your name on the top. And they are asking us to color in only the things that begin with a G sound. So, boys and girls, you're going to color in only the pictures that start with a G. And yet again, with our dotted line G and our small letter G. Please make sure that you are doing it correctly and you're starting at the big circles. Okay, so, teacher Zala already done, has done hers. As you can see, I have written my name on the top and I have colored my grapes in a nice purple. And yet again, I have written in the middle of the capital letter G and the small um, letter G. Right, so we're going to move on to page 17. As you can see, they asked us to only color in the pictures that start with the letter G. So I have colored in my grapes, my gloves, and my gift. We cannot color in the bananas, boys and girls, because it starts with the letter B and not the letter G. So, boys and girls, the same with the letters again, the dotted lines, please remember to start at the top with your big circle, follow the arrow, and go around and up and down, then you stop. And then yet again with a big arrow and circle to the right. And you're going to do exactly the same with the small letter G. Okay, boys and girls, now that we are done with our day's work, you can just go ask mommy and daddy if they have the materials at home. Remember, there is a compulsory activity on the page, and please send a nice, beautiful picture, and teacher Anna will send it to me. Okay, so boys and girls, that's it, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!